everyone welcome back to my youtube channel wow it's been a long time since i've posted on youtube it's been a month since i haven't posted and that's like the longest i haven't posted on youtube and i just thought i'd get back into it so in today's video i am going to be doing the trend that was on instagram like maybe two or three months ago it's called the show me a photo of Chilin we basically asked you guys on my Instagram I put like a question like show me a photo of and you guys have to answer what what you want to show me a photo of so that's all me doing in this video so I hope you all enjoy and smash it a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below and let's just get straight into the video since I am using my phone to film this video I have to airdrop some of the photos of the question thing about that you guys want to be show a photo of. So the first one is food you made and loved. This photo right here, it's a photo of a grilled cheese and a potato and lake soup which is the, the best meal I've ever had so far and I love it literally so much. Okay the next one is your favourite clothing. Favourite clothing would be this skirt which I bought from China because I just love it so much and it's so pretty it has like a little little beat pearls thing on the dress and it's like literally so pretty you can pair with any outfit like I paired it with with like a stand up from H&M and it goes very well and I think that is my favourite type of clothing which is a skirt okay for the, the sixth one it's someone you hate so this is person but I don't want to show a photo of him because it might be a bit triggering for me but I'm just going to explain it. A photo, someone I hate is someone that um, that traumatized me um, about my sexual trauma like last year in January or February last year. Um, and yeah, I haven't gone to talk about it until like August, September like last year. And I really don't want to show the photo of him because it might be triggering to see his face. So I just wanted to explain that. Something you love other than Taylor. Well, something I love is this painting that I did like a while back. It's like Taylor Swift theme. It's like a rainbow kind of color, and I absolutely love it so much. And it's so pretty and perfect. And I do like a rainbow theme whenever I do my paintings. Like I, I'm still like trying to get used to painting other kind of types of things, but I'm quite used to doing that kind of stuff because I love my rainbows and I love like the contrast. And all the colours and that kind of stuff. Like I like light colours more than dark colours because I don't like dark colours as a clothing, so I like to paint light colours makes me happy painting, makes me happy. So that's something else I love other than Taylor Swift. And next one is show me a photo of graduating high school. Well, I technically didn't graduate high school because I left in year 12, at the end of year 12 after my exam so i technically didn't graduate high school so i can't show a photo of that something gross okay something gross is this part of the fish which is really disgusting it's like that it's just a piece of a little ugh, just gross stuff on it and it just ugh, it just literally reeks and it's so gross and i just ugh, it makes me like throw up and gag and that kind of stuff someone you miss someone i miss is Daisy, which is a dog that is owned by my one of my old flatmates that I used to live in um, Rumi era like um, the year before last year, 2019, um, from October 2019 to maybe January 2020. I just miss her so much because she used to wake me up every morning and that kind of makes me happy to like get up in the morning and stuff and now when I get up it's kind of like what am I getting up for what is the meaning of getting up what I have a validation of life if you kind of know what I mean but yeah ready questions Ryan Gosling because why not he is hot and attractive and I loved him in the notebook I think it's so beautiful and like literally so romantic and so sad but I literally love that movie it's really expensive it's probably a Louis Vuitton bag which I really 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 want but I cannot afford it because it's like a whole bunch of grand which I literally don't have so that's something expensive but which I want but I can't have unfortunately. You're proud of. Something I'm proud of is when I got baptized like I think it was last year or the year before last year 
and being baptized is so important for me and my faith because us three or four years I've struggled with my anxiety and depression and has been really hard on me and ever since like praying to God every day and that kind of stuff has really helped me to praise and believe in what the Lord says and I just trust my faith with him and I wouldn't be the person I am today without him so thank you Jesus and that is something I'm really proud of because I've wanted to get back for a long time and yeah I'm really glad that I did it. Show me a photo of your mum. So this is a photo of me and my mum in Hamilton like earlier uh, this year and yeah that's my mum. She is literally so sweet and she's always been there for me and I love her so much and yeah I hope to go on holiday for a very soon and I'm very broke her because about her health so I always tend to worry about people I love because she gets worried a lot which is my worries. Another thing, which is going to the topic, some of you love I need Taylor Swift is Olivia Rodrigo because she is such an amazing singer and she's only like 17 years old which is literally amazing and it's literally amazing and I look up to her so much and she um, released a song called Driver's License in January this year and she's she so good she was like Billie Eilish, like she's literally incredible, like amazing. Herself as a baby. So this is me as a baby. I look really Chinese in that photo and um, from the photos of me and my mum I look like exactly like my mum when when she when I was in the photo with her when I was like um, six to seven months old like I absolutely like look like her and well, I do look Asian but I don't look um like it's New Zealand kind of Chinese Asian not like Chinese Chinese I'm not sure how to explain that but but I used to look really Chinese when I was born. I do, I'm still fit Chinese, but not like, it's kind of hard to explain though. So, we miss, which I completely forgot, is a very hard question, because I miss Daisy. And I also miss, I also miss Stacy, who was one of my closest friends in the church, which I've met, and she is so lovely and so sweet. And I just miss her because she moved to Waikiki Island. And I also miss my church friends. Ella and Catherine and they're like my close friends ever and I also miss Bridget which I don't have a photo of her I do have a photo but not like an actual photo photo but um yeah that is basically the end of this video I didn't get get really a lot of show me a photo of um question things but I still hope you enjoyed it if you want to see me do more of these kind of challenges or we'll interact with you guys, do more of these kind of trend kind of things, please let me know in the comment section down below. And I love you all to the moon and back and I'll see you all in the next video, which will be hopefully very soon because I'm aiming to post like two to three times a week if I can get the motivation and stuff to upload, but I will see you all in the next one. Bye! We're always gonna